And how's it going guys, Josh here, and I'm gonna teach you how to use proxies in just four minutes, the new way. But first, do you like free stuff? Well, on the first link below, you can check out my 10 free track mat transitions pack. Click on the second link and you can find my mega list of over 75 of the best Premiere Pro freebies on the internet. It's pretty dope, right? And let's get into proxies. Now, say you have a slow computer and some high resolution 8K red footage that you need to edit. You'll need to convert that 8K footage to a lower resolution so that it's playable on your slow computer. Then you're gonna edit it and then you're gonna replace those low res files back with the original high res files before performing color correction and then eventually exporting. These low res files are called proxies. So how do you do this? Well, the old way of doing this was converting each high-res video file individually, maybe through Adobe Encoder, to a corresponding low-res video file with the exact same name. You'd then offline the high-res clips and then manually relink them with their corresponding low-res clips. You'd then edit using those low-res clips. Once done, you would offline the low-res clips and manually relink them with their corresponding high-res clips. And bam, then you'd color and export. Well, there's a new way. Premiere now has a toggle proxies button. It's actually been there for a while and it actually allows you to switch between those low res clips and the corresponding high res clips on the timeline with just one simple click. First, you import your high res footage. I have here some 8K footage I downloaded from the internet. Now it's important guys that you create a sequence that has the same resolution settings as your original high res 8K footage and not the resolution of the low res proxies that you're about to create. Now watch how unplayable this high res footage is on my computer. The playback is so sticky. Now you gotta right click on the footage. If you have multiple clips, highlight them all. Then click on proxy and click create proxies. Let's choose the most low res option offered at 1020 by 540 resolution with an H.264 codec. Make sure the destination states to place the proxy next to the original media in a proxy folder. And now Adobe Encoder will pop up and automatically create your proxy and automatically assign it to your high res footage. Now go back to Premiere, click on the plus button Find the toggle proxies button and drag it onto your main buttons bar. Now click on your new toggle proxies button and watch your high res footage magically transform to your low res proxy footage. Notice how your footage stretches a little bit because your proxy has a slightly different aspect ratio. Now you gotta edit your footage. Now I'm just using one clip, but in this tutorial, this one clip is actually representing the tons of low res clips that you would be using in your edit. Now to change this clip back to high res, all you gotta do is press the toggle proxies button and like magic, it reverts back to the original clip. Now it's time to color the clip and then export it to whatever final resolution that you want. All right, now that's our quick tutorial for this week. Now guys, you have three ways to support the channel. First, you can check out my favorite transition pack in the third link. You can check out my favorite sound pack in the fourth link. And lastly, I got a rep in Vado Elements. You gotta check them out. Basically, it consists of unlimited downloads of hundreds of transition packs, VFX packs, FX packs, and title packs for only $33 a month. That's in the fifth link. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.